Here's how to make the best cheeseburger you've ever had. Start off with 80-20 ground beef. Then use your hands to form two and a half ounce meatballs, which is approximately half a cup of meat. Give your balls a little jiggle, then set them aside to rest. Slice up some onions. Slowly caramelize them with a generous dollop of butter. Let them sizzle for a bit. Get a cast iron skillet screaming hot, then place your balls inside. Then smash them, as flat as you can. Also, try not to burn your eyebrows off if this happens. After a couple minutes, give it a flip. You're looking for a nice golden crust. Season with salt and pepper. And this artificially processed American cheese is essential. Get those buns toasty, 350 degrees. Then mix up this simple spread for the burger. Pause here if you want the recipe. Now, time for the assembly. And that is how to make a smash burger. Go ahead and share this with your friends and family. Look how happy this guy is. Now pause at the end of this video for a full recipe. Dano's Bourbon Bacon Jam Breakfast Burger. Check this out. Cut your bacon in little pieces. Some of that 80-20. Season it with spicy Dano's. Now we're gonna pop that trigger finger just like that. Mix that season in. Mix in. We'll mix it up real nice, real nice. Got our patty, set it to the side. Cook that bacon. Set your bacon to the side. Get rid of most of your grease, but save a little bit. Onions in. Once they golden up, let's add our bourbon. Bourbon in. Bacon back in. B-Boys Kentucky Honey. Honey in. Let it simmer for about 10 minutes till it thickens up. Set our bacon jam to the side. Cook your burgers in the same pan. Little Kobe cheese. Let your burger sit. Grab your egg. Fry your eggs. Break the yolk up a little bit. Doo -doo. Spicy dados. Yeah, baby. Perfection! Let me tell you to make the ultimate impossible cheeseburger. First up, we're gonna form a patty of the impossible meat. Now look at that, that literally looks like ground beef, but it's not. Season with salt and some freshly cracked pepper. Heat up a non-stick frying pan with a little bit of oil and place in your burger. Thinly slice the tomato and obviously some thinly sliced red onion. Check this out, it literally cooks like a burger. All right, let's give it a flip. And top it with two slices of American cheese. Cover to melt the cheese for about three to four minutes. While the cheese is melting, grab us a nice burger bun and brown the bottom in a oiled pan. Take your toasted bun and top it with a piece of lettuce and top it with that nicely melted cheeseburger right over here. Top it with three little pickles, a thin slice of onion, and a slice of tomato. And there you go, look at that, how insanely delicious does that look? Check out that inside, how good does that look? You have the medium rare inside. All right, let's give it a try. Oh my gosh, that is freaking delicious. Look at that. It is like a medium rare burger, but 100% plant-based. It is insanely delicious. You guys have to try it. Click that plus button for more recipes. Homemade smash burgers. Let's go. Add mayo, pickle juice, ketchup, yellow mustard, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. Mix and set aside. Butter that grill. Place your beef patties down and aggressively smash. You're looking for those weird beef edges. Cook for two minutes. Flip. Add salt and American cheese. Casually smear the sauce on your potato rolls. Top with the patty. Add pickles. Compact it all. Take your pictures and devour. Full recipe on our Instagram. I'm making bacon cheeseburgers today. You're gonna get your ground beef. I got it with 10% fat. Put into bowl. Gordon Ramsay adds eggs to his, so so will I. Mix it in. One teaspoon of crushed red pepper, onion powder, chili powder, garlic powder, paprika. Put half into mixture. Mix it up and add the other half. I made 12 patties and it doesn't really matter how big they come out because either way they're gonna get a lot smaller when you're cooking them. Put in fridge for like 30 minutes. Wash your veggies. Dry them. Lettuce, onion, tomato, jalapeno. Chop your bacon in half because one whole strip is going to go in each one. Take them out. Start cooking your bacon. Set it aside. Start cooking in the bacon grease. When you start seeing the brown, flip it over. Then let your onion cook with the burgers. It's ready, so put it in the corner. Add your cheese. Add your onion. And bacon. Add mayo to buns. Toast the bottom. When toasted, take out and replace with top. Lettuce. Meat tomato, jalapeno, ketchup, and the top. Today I prepared for you mushroom burgers. We get our portobellos from Sam's Club, but you can get them anywhere. You wanna make sure that they are all cleaned off and the stem is taken out. Look at that slow motion garlic butter action. Put your garlic butter on the inside, the outside, in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And what do we have here? It is our keto taste tester and our puppy and they are grilling up burgers. I pre-make my burgers and then I leave them in the freezer and we take them out and use them as we wish. 
Take out all your toppings that you wanna put on your burger, pull out your mushrooms, drain off the liquid, put a little bit of Himalayan salt and pepper, your cheese of your choice, and back in the oven for 400 degrees until it's melty McMelty. Oh, that looks yum. We put some sugar-free ketchup and some yellow mustard. Bon appetit, like and follow for more recipes. I want a fucking burger. You cut up your tomato, onion, cheese, and lettuce. Ooh, fuck, that was quick. <clears throat> Total my sex tape. Lightly toast your bread or buns. Chuck some mince in a bowl. Add salt. Add pepper. Add whatever herbs and spices you fucking like. Add whatever sauces you like. Add an egg. Mix it all up. Make them into patties. Preheat a pan. Actually, two. Get your onions into the pan. Now frying your patties. And fry up your onions to whatever point you fucking like. Once your patties are done, cook yourself some fucking eggs, bitch. Mayo, cheese, patty, onion, tomato, eggs, lettuce. Fucking done. Nice. Welcome to my world of sinful eating. Life is all good when you have home food. And uh, I hope you all are doing well at your home. So, today I have made a burger. And this is a very juicy chicken burger. For this, you need all you need. Two buns. Bun mein aapko spread karna mayonnaise and mere ghar mein bani thi garlic mayonnaise to maine wo bhi laga di. Wo lagane ke baad you just need to chop some cucumber and some tomato. Uske baad I already have some patties ready. Ya patty apne pasand se jaise bana sakte ho. To maine bas usko fry kar liya on the pan. Usko crisp fry kar liya when it's completely juicy. Aap suni sakte hai sizzling sound. So, इससे पता चल रहा है the burgers are ready to be eaten and they're juicy and they're crisp. अब गर्मा गर्म burger को बन में डालिए. उसके ऊपर आप कुछ भी topping डाल सकते हैं. मैंने इसमें cucumber डाला हुआ है, tomato डाला हुआ है, और mayonnaise डाला हुआ है. And I also have put in some more ketchup because I love my burgers to be very moist. So definitely I have sprinkled on some black pepper. Now your burgers are all ready. So जब burger ready हो गया, the burger looks something like this.